Hello, and thank you all so much for 10,000 subscribers. I am very, very excited about this milestone, and I'm looking forward to tens of thousands of more in the future. Because that's going to happen, I'm manifesting it now. For 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing a Q&A, my first Q&A. I don't know if I'll do another. It might be the only Q&A, so buckle up. I made a post on YouTube and asked the community Discord for questions, and I got a fair amount of them. Thank you guys very much for that. So let's start with this one from Anki and just rapid fire a bunch. What's your favorite tank? It's really hard to choose because there are so many fun ones, but I'd probably have to go with this 124-gallon LED aquarium kit, upright luxury large fish tank, large glass fish bowl, blah, 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 bar for patios, living, office room, and kitchen. But if you meant like a tank in War Thunder, like a vehicle, the Puma. No, not that Puma. That Puma. What food do you eat as a YouTube? What? Do you event eat? What? Will you try to play with people in the server? Yes, I have and probably will continue to play War Thunder and other games with people in the community Discord. I occasionally, if I see people in the voice chat playing something, I'll hop in and maybe join them for a bit. Uh, we've done big private group games. Uh, we've done anti-Stasi. Uh, yeah, I have and will continue to do so, probably. Any events planned aside from the Q&A? Currently, no. Should there be? Anime or Western cartoon? Probably anime. I do really enjoy anime in general. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, obviously. Death Note is a really good one. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Inuyasha, Ghost in the Shell, the list goes on. I, I could probably list off 20 animes that I've watched all the way through and uh, thoroughly enjoyed. How old are you as of now? I am 26 years old. Uh, C. Lenlos asks, what would you do with yourself if you were a cheese grater? Probably sit in a drawer and rust away due to disuse and improper cleaning. Probably probably accumulate a little bit of mold. Be found after several years of not being used and discarded, I would imagine. Serious Q&A, what would have been your job before YouTubing? First off, YouTube is not my job. Boy, do I wish it was, but 10,000 subscribers and like five patrons on Patreon does not a career make. <laughs> so <laughs> we're not there. <laughs> However, there are two other ways I can interpret this question. So I'm just going to answer it in both ways. Before I became a video editor professionally and started also on the side um, doing these YouTube videos and taking more time and consideration and making them and trying to make them more often. I was a supervisor at a restaurant basically all through college, through most of college. I worked at a coffee shop briefly, Caribou Coffee. Love Caribou Coffee so much. I'm actually drinking right now. I have a McDonald's latte because I'm a disgusting trader, but I needed breakfast. I worked at Target for a few years in high school as a cart attendant and electronics guy. I've done my fair share in retail and food services. Um, so not going back to that. <laughs> the other way I could interpret this question is um, what would I be doing if I wasn't a video editor? Um, and the answer to that is probably something boring. <laughs> I went to college for sociology and so a lot of my practical skills that I could bring to a workplace uh, involve statistics and um, sociological analysis and things like that. So I would likely, I could be in HR at some company or I could be doing some sort of data analysis type role. Anything that involves like polling or surveys, uh, that's my jam. Yeah, really, it's likely I'd just be doing something with data analysis. Honestly, um, I did, I did start my college career as a computer science major, which I, I tried. <laughs> I got through calculus one. I think I got like a C. And when I learned that I needed to get up to calculus three uh, to complete the program and also learned that fun fact, there is a difference between a bachelor of the arts computer science degree and a bachelor of science computer science degree, funny enough. And I was doing a science one and I prefer an art one. So I said, never mind and switched to sociology. So <laughs> uh, I did growing up think I was going to do something with video games or programming, coding, something super nerdy and lucrative like that. But here we are. <laughs> the Hunter asks, for the Drunk Thunder video, what and how much did you drink? Interesting question. I was drinking Bird Dog Honey Whiskey. Very good and very affordable. Highly recommend. It's a little too sweet, but it's very good. I actually didn't intend to get super drunk for that video, but I, kind of, I did the thing where I was like, okay, I'm going to pour myself a small glass of whiskey and just, you know, relax. Uh, but I noticed that the bottle, like, had, you know, was almost empty, but, like, there was more than just, like, a nice drink in there. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just pour it all out and finish it. And there was a lot more in that bottle left than I realized, <laughs> so... <laughs> How much did I drink, though? Uh, probably, like, four times more than you think. 
<laughs> or maybe less. I am a lightweight. South1967 asks, are you planning on making a dedicated War Thunder funny moment series in the future? Like not just the we broke the game series, but a dedicated funny moment series. Yes, we broke the game is part of that series. Most of the War Thunder videos that I have uploaded are in fact a part of that funny moments general series like like Soviet Womble. I'm not I'm not going to pretend I'm, it, it's like Soviet Womble. The biplane video was sort of just like a random thing that happened. It, it was a funny idea Jesse had and I said, "Ah, it's worth being its own video. Yeah, why not?" So if anything, I think I will start a series like that, but most of the War Thunder funny moments videos at the very end of the title is part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4. That is that, or at least it's supposed to be. Hey, JJ asks, how many chucks could a woodchuck chuck if Rob wasn't an AI pretending to be our friend? Hey, Robert. Yeah, he knows. Or, he's, I think he knows. It's not my fault the AI is so fucking dumb. Dude, like, if you just made the AI a little bit smarter, it needed to be trained more. It wasn't ready. It wasn't ready. You need to come back. Yeah. I love you too. Okay, bye. Arian Tamura asks, what kind of videos do you hope to do in the future? Just fun shenanigans with friends or stuff like guides slash videos specifically about a certain vehicle slash lineup? That is a very good question. Keep asking great questions. <laughs> if I'm being totally honest, I don't know. I kind of just make whatever is fun at the moment. Sometimes I make game reviews. Sometimes I have a random idea and I just want to do it. So I do random budget house flipper or sometimes I find 10 underrated YouTubers and highlight them in the video. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> what you can count on though is definitely more War Thunder content, some Helldivers content in the near future, and um, really that's actually all I have in the tank. <laughs> the funny moment style videos, just the me, Robert, and Jesse, or you know occasionally other friends goofing around in whatever game we're playing and me trying to make it as entertaining as possible. That is the meat and potatoes of the channel. That's what I will continue to do. The games might change or maybe they won't. I don't know. I think it could be fun to do some more specific stuff like you're referring to with the certain vehicles and lineups and whatnot, but I don't know if that's really my style, and I kind of feel like other YouTubers already have that pretty locked down. So, eh. that one free German asks, if you could own any tank from War Thunder, what tank would it be? Do, do, do you mean, like, in-game, or, or like, I, like, real life? Like, it's, like, it could be sitting in my parking lot right now? Because in either case, the answer is the mouse. Frank the Tank asks, what? is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? That's a dumb question, African or European? President Lemon asks, what gauge of shotgun J Stewart 69420 nice. asks, how unsafe is it to put tinfoil in the microwave? Let's find out. Swig Swoogs asks, getting high or getting drunk? Por que no los dos? Cat UT2 XT, cat, cat, uh, uh, two, Cat asks, would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no more video games or games, unlimited games, but no more games? Yes. Zero asks, can you shoot your <laughs> Skywings1020 asks, does pineapple belong on pizza? I mean, anything belongs on pizza if you're brave enough. But also, yeah, pineapple's fine on pizza. And if people hate on you for putting pineapple on your pizza, listen, it's not something that I would spring for, but like if you put a slice of pizza in front of me and it has pineapple on it, I'm gonna eat it. It's it's fine. Just put whatever you want on your fucking hands. Round things off, APD SWAT asks, what have been some of your favorite and not so favorite moments of being a content creator? First off, thank you very much for the rest of that message and much love to you and your puppo. But those are actually really interesting questions. Not the least because, uh, Somebody's calling me a content creator, and it still feels weird to call myself a content creator because I feel like that's like, that's what somebody is when it's their job, but I'm just here. <laughs> but honestly, most of my favorite moments are just the gaming, like getting to hang out with my friends and play video games and have a good time and getting to share that with other people and make people laugh. And I get a lot of comments of people saying like, man, this YouTube channel is so underrated. This is really funny. Funniest War Thunder video I've ever watched. And those are super, super awesome to read. I've mentioned before that one of my favorite things about creating content and putting it on the internet is getting to interact and hang out with and, and, and meet other people. I, in general, am a bit of a hermit. I'm a bit of an introvert. I'm, I'm like an extroverted introvert. Those don't really mean anything anyway, everyone's an omnivert, but it's still a lot of fun just to engage with people, like in the community discord, which you should totally join, and to share laughs about whatever thing Jesse is doing to me in a video game. <laughs> and also, it's incredibly creatively fulfilling. It's why video editing is the career path I'm choosing. It has been a very, very difficult three-year journey of 
clawing my way into the industry um, with some initial help from some very good friends. But I feel like I'm kind of getting somewhere with it. And I wouldn't have gone through the last few years of clawing my way into it and, you know, really developing these skills as a video editor if I didn't love it, right? My job is my hobby and my hobby is my job. And for a lot of people, that can really suck. But... I love it. So that's honestly probably my favorite part of it is that I just, I genuinely really enjoy creating content. It's a lot of fun for me and it's very fulfilling. As for some of my not favorite moments, I don't know if I have much to say in that regard yet. At the time I'm recording this, I have like 10,200 subscribers. So honestly, I don't feel like the channel is big enough for me to have felt a lot of the negative impacts of being an online personality to any degree, right? But I will say there is one phenomenon uh, that I am recently getting to experience that is not fun. So here's a quick rundown of how the YouTube algorithm kind of works, right? When you upload a video, the first people that are going to see it most likely are going to be some subset of your subscribers, right? You're going to start in the middle. These are the people that are here to watch your content specifically. It's going to, the algorithm is going to show that video to these people because they've subscribed to you. Then if enough of them enjoy that video and they engage with it and watch enough of it, then it's going to start expanding and it's going to start showing that video to other people, people who are not subscribed to you, but the algorithm thinks could be. And it's very likely that while we're still here and we're still just showing this many people the video, people are going to enjoy it if they do watch it. That can go on for a while, right? But once you get out here, at a certain point, the algorithm is going to start showing your video to people who might not enjoy it. And I got to experience this really for the first time with the biplane video. I've gotten my fair share of negative comments, but this was something new. <laughs> because my subscribers enjoyed it, they found it funny. And a lot of the people who watch similar content enjoyed it, they found it entertaining. And once we got out here, we got to the people who take the game very, very seriously. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was flooded with a bunch of comments from people who were very upset that I would dare bring reserve biplanes into like top tier jet matches. So all of that is to say one of my not so favorite things about being a content creator so far is you do end up suffering from success a little bit. If you have a video do really well, it's going to get pushed to people who aren't going to enjoy it eventually, and you're going to get a lot of very mean comments. <laughs> and as somebody who is unabashedly a fairly sensitive person, that's not fun. <laughs> Regardless, I'm still very thoroughly enjoying content creation and your guys' responses to the videos, and I love that you all are, are watching the videos and engaging with them and just having a good time with us. But that'll conclude this Q&A for now. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any other questions, Feel free to ask them in the comments and I'll probably answer because I'm a very self-centered person. <laughs> Thank you all so much once again for 10,000 subscribers. It really means a lot to me. And here is to many more subscribers, laughs, and rusty cheese graters. Goodbye. I don't know what this is, but I'm doing it. <laughs>